Why can we not have that? Okay, for those that don't know what a pachinko is, it's simply a glorified gambling machine which some don't have your favorite series of. In fact, if I could just describe pachinko machine in one sentence, it would be this. Pachinko machines, where once beloved series comes to die. Because that's true. Now, you now might have heard already about this when it comes to when I made pachinko machine of Konami games. But uh, let me tell you one thing. Even though people rage much about it, it's far from the only thing, and the only thing that is actually more as tease. Now, back in the days, Pachinko Machine used to only have, like, from clips from or original TV series, like anything else. But recently, in the last five or ten years, not only does these things even exist, but they have even better animation at it. I mean, just look at this and compare it to the original. They look more up to date. I mean, you expect this from come from an animated student who actually want to remake this. Not from a pachinko machine where you're just putting your money in it. Which I think is an ultimate tease. Not only shows that there's some passionate people out there that are doing it, but something that's just doing on some small scale. Now this is especially hard for a series that hasn't been out for years. I mean just look at this. Just look at this. Just to look at this Kuniko Man video from Man the Anime Hero. It looks more up to date. And basically this pachinko machine even has good CG at it. I'm not joking, this is up there with Captain Harlock and movie. It just looks so much greater. And you wonder why I'm just keep rambling about this. It's that this is a proof that there are some passionate people on doing this and that you can simply make money of it. I mean, the way the presentation, it just... And especially for series that have been so old. And this, this is especially hurtful since the, these were some beloved franchises before. You, you know what they're supposed to do? You know what the anime studios that actually own this are supposed to do? They should hire the people who are drawing this pachinko machine and just just redo their animation that way. Because think about it. Many new fans say that they don't like to watch old animation because they have been simply been spoiled by so many color in the more recent years. So this is why I propose. Okay, anyone who actually owned the franchise, you go hire the people who have done this animation. You make them the animation staff and making project that's re-airing the classic shows. The same voice sample of the voice actors, the same music, basically almost the same thing, but the animation being updated today. This probably is not the bi this is not the one of the biggest job you have to do. It's more easy to redraw on the existing animation than used to do a new one. I mean, if companies can put so much money and time on just making remakes, why not just re-release it? Why not just re-release classic with some better animation? And why not say redoing it and re-airing it? Don't do it as Dragon Ball Kai. We just only did the openings. No, no, we don't looking any for like that. We want the entire thing to be redone. I know it's sort of a pain, but this is actually less job than used to make a new anime series and remake that people don't really like. And once you actually had a new animation re-airing it in Japan you might actually get some people outside of Japan actually want to buy it. Pachinko machines might only be right now be gambling, but if, you, if they company actually see this as an opportunity, so not only that it costs less, but as it has been revived some old franchise and actually been selling out and selling out just for nostalgia, this could actually become a thing. This is why I didn't put series like Lady Oscar, as she's a no Joe or USA, on my previous list of top anime remakes. Because I know the series are already good as they are. But sometimes you need to have, actually have some, maybe an alternative version with more updated animation. Just think about it. I still think this is a very good business opportunity. It doesn't even cost that much. Just hire a good animation team from the Pachinko machines. And there you go, like, just new splendid animation on something very old. Don't let the Pachinko machines become Pachinko machines. Let them become reality. Let them become what we actually want to see all classic about. Make them good at DVD or Blu-ray releases. Do it now. Do it now.